by this Brian Shepard with the closing print. Uh, you know, we marked the opening uh, with a 16.75 half low that helped throughout the low of the day. Uh, we trended higher. Actually, I wouldn't even call it trending. We crawled, climbed, scratched, and pulled up. Uh, you know, made a new high. Uh, you know, just for going into noon. 1690 even high of the day and currently we're trading just off that at 1688. Uh, you know we held we, we had the number that one of our uh, co contributors William Blount put out is the price of the day 1681 and a half. And early on it took a little bit to get through that. It pulled back from there. It held uh, the opening range and from there it was Katie by the door. Uh, we took out some stops above 81 half. Climbed up to 89 early, and, and then made a bit new, a uh, bit higher of a um, new high at uh, 1690. You know, old school thought that the, you know, there would be some buys because the first day of the quarter, you know, putting money to work. Um, you know, we didn't really see that coming into the close. What we did see was that uh, the our MIM, our Mr. Top Step and Balance Meter, showed a slight uh, lean to the sell side. We got some other news coming out late at uh, about 2:47 that there was a small to the buy. So we'll call that uh, the closing imbalance mixed. It was a pretty slow day. You know, to be honest, uh, the mid portion. After the European close at 10:30ish, uh, you know the market started just sitting. We sat in a three-handle range, and then we broke down to the bottom side. We held that price of the day at 16.81 half again, trading like a 16.82 half area low. We sat another couple of handle, three-handle range, and just late in the day we broke back above 85 even. So there were buyers out here. Uh, tomorrow, I guess the big thing on the board is uh, Ben Bernanke. He's going to speak. Uh, I believe it's two o'clock Central Time. We also have ADP numbers, um, you know, with the Fed the partial shutdown, the government shutdown. You know, nobody knows exactly what to do, and they don't want to get run over. So, you know, the money is coming in quick. You're making quick trades, uh, scalping, in other words. Certainly, there's some bigger bets being made. Um, you know, swing trades and whatnot. But uh, you know, I think that actually today's action took a lot of people by surprise uh, by opening higher and trending higher throughout the day. Um, you know, again, that old school would have thought you know, the market may have uh, sold off on the Fed partial shutdown. And again, it didn't. So some of these old rules, you know, old thoughts don't necessarily pan out these days. Um, and that's why we're here to help guide you through. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.